<laughs> you know who it is, and you know what time it is. Time to piss off some feminist trad cucks and whoever don't want to know the truth. Oh well, let's get started. What is going on, Jets? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command. Gentlemen, I'm going to say this right out the gate. I ain't shit for what I'm about to talk about and the references I'm going to use. <laughs> the first thing that I thought about when I saw this article was put the boots to them medium style for those of you who know where that reference comes from put it in the description box <laughs> oh i ain't shit but this needs to happen whenever the white knight decides to rush in into a situation where he has no clue about the quote-unquote damsel in distress? Oh, no, 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 no. I despise white knights. I despise white knights with a passion. And when shit happens to them, I chuckle inside. As a matter of fact, I giggle my motherfucking ass off. Now, this article was published on the 11th of September, a day of infamy for other reasons. Two white knights, I'm not going to use the word that they try to use because that word has become very synonymous with being disposable as a man, were beaten unconscious after stepping in to try to intervene to stop a woman from being quote unquote sexually assaulted, reports say. Now, first and foremost, they overinflate what supposedly happened, as I'm going to read further down. Two British men were beaten unconscious after they reportedly stepped in to stop a woman from being sexually assaulted last Sunday morning. The pair, aged 19 and 25, intervened to help women who were quote unquote in distress after one was quote unquote inappropriately touched in Stoke on Trent, Mail Online and Stoke on Trent Live reported. The local media outlet reported that one of the two men, 25, required facial reconstruction surgery after the woman's assailant's attacked him. He remains in the hospital. I know I shouldn't laugh at this, but fuck him. <laughs> fuck him. That's what you get for putting on that white armor, rushing in on your trusty steed and not knowing the full extent of the situation. The 19-year-old victim has since been discharged from the Royal Stoke University Hospital, Stoke on Trent Live said. The British media have dubbed them white knights for their valiant attempt to protect the women. Yeah, okay. You see, gentlemen, they use that word to try to say they were so valiant no, 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 no. They were stupid. What they should have done was record the incident, hand it over to the police, and that would have been the end of that. Let the professionals handle it. My stepson and his friend showed pure bravery. No, sir, they showed pure stupidity, if not outright cowardice. Now, why would I say cowardice? Because apparently they tried to jump these guys. And what happened? 
their mouth wrote a check that their ass couldn't cash. And the 25-year-old, yeah, he got a river dance put on him. These two deserve a medal for putting themselves in danger. My stepson has multiple broken bones in his face due to the guys stomping on his face, said Ben Mortimer, as reported by the Daily Express. I'm going to reiterate. He decided to step into a situation he had no clue about, and he got the boots put to him. Initial reports indicated that the men stepped in to prevent a grape, which, guess what? The police said they wanted to clarify that following inquiries, there was not, 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 N-O-T, not, a report of an attempted grape of a female ahead of an assault of the two men that took place on Stafford Street in Hanley on the 5th of September. There was, however, a quote-unquote allegation of a woman who was being touched inappropriately, the spokesperson said. On Thursday, police arrested a 23-year-old man on suspicion of grievous bodily harm with intent. He has since been released on conditional bail pending further inquiries. Officers are now trying to identify another man they wish to speak with in connection with the attack. <laughs> Let me reiterate this. I have zero sympathy for white knights, especially in this day and age. Now, what is the one thing that is completely missing from this article? What's that? Oh, I'll tell you. A statement from the quote unquote victims. See, this is what usually happens when the white knight decides to step into a situation he has no clue about. The women, after the situation happens, they don't even say thank you. Yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys might remember this um, happening. There were some white knights who were on a train and apparently some Muslim girls were being harassed, they decided to intervene. The guy stabs them to death. The girls jumped off the train and walked away without even staying there to see if these guys were okay. That's what usually happens at bare minimum. Sometimes the quote unquote victim might actually join in on the attack, which is why domestic violence cases are one of the t top things, excuse me, that cops themselves hate going to. But here you have a couple of idiots who decided to write with their mouth a check that their ass couldn't cash. And what happened? They got stomped the fuck out. Hey, it is what it is. Fellas, as I stated before, if, if you do decide to somewhat intervene, the only thing you need to do, whip out your phone, take a video, and if the police want it, give it to them. You've done your civic duty. See, this is why people don't step in and try to stop fights anymore. And I understand why. I truly understand it. Why are you going to put yourself into a harmful situation to which you could get knocked out, stomped out, and if it really comes down to it, you could get killed? This guy needs facial reconstructive surgery. What would have happened if one of those bones actually pierced his head? Guess what? He'd be dead right now over a woman he did not even know. She didn't even say thank you. Wow. 
talk about male disposability. <laughs> no, gentlemen, no. You have to be an idiot to intervene on a woman's behalf, especially if you don't even know her. Gentlemen, I'm pretty sure us red pillars have killed our inner white knight. There was a point where a lot of us men would intervene. But nowadays, oh, no, 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 no. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Nope, nope, nope. There have been many a times that I did intervene. Luckily for me, my size was more than enough to stop what was going on. However, as time went on and I truly understood women, I said, you know what? This ain't my business. I'm going to mind my own business and walk on by because I don't know what the situation is about. See, that's called being street smart. Apparently, these guys decide to let their white knight syndrome get them something that they really needed in order to put some common sense back into their head. Now, for the 25-year-old guy, he's going to have to look in the mirror every day and ask himself this question. Was it really worth it? Oh, well. Oh, well. Well, read the article. Let me know what you guys think. Hell, leave in the comment section some situations that you might have intervened in, but you thought better and walked away. Ladies, understand this. The power will one day go out. Feminism and the false veil of protection that you have in the form of random white knights will go out right along with it because articles like this are going to serve to make men think before they intervene. Too many men have lost their lives intervening on the part of a woman that they did not even know. And what happened? The woman went about her life like nothing ever happened and totally forgot the guy. These guys will be forgotten in a month. Oh, well, it is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out.